and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys to a Barcelona news roundup today and we do have some big big news to bring you on the transfer front and certainly with particular emphasis there on defence. There's a lot of defenders in today's video from Semedo to Cancelo, Emerson, Pau Torres all discussed in today's video plus there's some really interesting quotes from the side of Inter Milan after a really difficult spell right now for Lataro Martinez. Inter for me don't seem too happy about this interest from Barcelona. It's all coming up and some more. Let's do this. And just to give you a heads up, guys, I am going to be working very, very closely over the coming weeks and hopefully the coming months with the app Flick. Now that, if you haven't heard of it already, is basically a chat room for football fans like yourself, like myself. And I'm going to be there in the Talk FCB Flick chat and I pop in and out every single day. I speak with many of you guys and I absolutely love doing that. And in particular, during games, it's going to be awesome. Tonight, we're actually going to be live during the Barcelona B versus Badajoz game. I'm going to be talking in there with all of you guys so you can get involved in that and all of that good stuff in the description down below it's free to download and i really appreciate your support and you will see the polls and all stuff like that appearing throughout the videos and it just brings me a lot closer to you guys and gives me a lot more insight into what you are thinking and on that subject we just start here with sports cover this morning which is basically the headline there swap for the defense and they focus there on a few particular deals once again they're documenting barcelona's big interest in Man City centre-back Eric Garcia, who has just one year left on his contract. And interestingly, they actually say that a potential swap deal between Barca and Man City for Semedo for Cancelo could help facilitate that deal, because Man City are known to be very big admirers of Semedo. They'd be happy there to receive him in an exchange deal, and that could help Barca in negotiations for Eric Garcia, with also, of course, Cancelo coming the other way, with Barcelona also in the past having admired Cancelo both at Valencia and Juventus. That's a story that is not going away. We keep hearing about this potential swap deal, Semedo. We keep hearing about those exit rumours. And we're going to have to wait and see if anything comes of that. And especially with regards to Eric Garcia. Another right back we do have to discuss is Emerson, who we have spoken about before. Of course, he's currently co-owned by Barcelona and Real Betis right now, with Emerson set to spend just one more year with Betis before returning to be a full Barcelona player in 2021, which is all fine, looking good. But the problem is, with the Barcelona board, things are never that simple, are they? They're always going to throw a spanner into the works. They're always going to complicate things, and that's what they may do once again here with Emerson. Because there have been quite a few reports now coming out over the past week or so, linking Emerson with a move away from Barcelona, with AC Milan really, really interested in signing him this summer. Now, according to these reports, Barcelona would be open to selling Emerson for around 30 million euros, whereas AC Milan right now want to close the deal for around 25 million euros. But the problem is, the problem with this deal is, if we sold Emerson, even so, for 25, 30 million, that wouldn't even be significant profit profit there on our investment. That wouldn't actually be that good a return. And let me just explain why. Because Barcelona have already paid half of the transfer fee that it took to bring him in from Brazil. That there was around 6 million euros. Add to that the fact that Barcelona would have to pay Betis 6 million to actually get him back early to end that loan before 2021. That there would be another 6 million. So before you even started there, you've got 12 million that we've already paid out to sign Emerson. And I don't really understand the Barcelona board's obsession with just cashing in on players as quickly as you possibly could. We've got a young player here who's really impressed in La Liga, in a poor Betis team. He's done really, really well, and quite clearly, there's talent there. So why are we so quick here to just cash in on them, get some quick money, and then move on? I really don't understand that. If it was me, I would much, much rather Emerson stay at Betis another season there in La Liga. He can continue there to develop, to grow as a player, and then in the summer of 2021, I'd rather sit down and then weigh up our options. See if he's ready to join the first team. If he's not, you can look into you can look into other options. But let's just wait another year. Leave him on loan at Betis, and then in 2021, we should have a brand new board to deal with it. 
Another defender in La Liga that we simply have to discuss is none other than Pau Torres, the young Spanish centre-back who's received some pretty serious links to Barcelona, not just recently, but over the course of this entire season, having also been linked there at the start of the year. I've seen a lot of their games over the course of the season, and he's really, really impressed me. He is a good, good player. Just 23 years old, he's a left-footed centre-back, which is certainly worth mentioning, given that we already have Longley and um, Titi on that left side, but is that still going to be the case going into next season and I've got to say one of his best assets for me is playing out from the back his composure on the ball his poise in terms of building up play he's happy to step out he's happy there to play passes into midfield to take risks and he's been absolutely brilliant in that Villarreal team he's six foot three inches tall he's a tall guy strong but by no means slow either and even though against Barcelona recently it's safe to say he didn't have the rest of the night he of course got the own goal there instead of Griezmann prodding it into the back of the net it wasn't ideal for him but I think certainly looking at his quality looking at the talent he has he's still young he's going to be at the heart of Spain's defence I feel for the national team for many many years to come this season with Villarreal he's played 34 of their 38 games in La Liga this season he formed a really good partnership there with Raul Albiol at centre back which helped Villarreal into fifth to qualify for the Europa League and like I say he has been linked to Barca before but in particular this new report here comes from Rack One, who say that Pau Torres is a name the club are very much aware of and if they were to strengthen the centre of the defence this summer if we were to go out and sign a centre back there is Eric Garcia he is our number one option but also at the top of that list Pau Torres he's also a player that the club are very very keen on but Rakwan do say Villarreal want to keep their man they just brought in Unai Emery as the coach for next season they want to have a push there in the Europa League although Pau Torres does have a 50 million buyout clause in his current deal so that if Barcelona really do rate him that highly and if we are serious about strengthening our defence, there may be some room for manoeuvre. But we do now have to move on to Lataro Martinez because I have to say, recently, it has not been good going. It's not been easy going for Lataro Martinez since football returned because I've spoken about this before. He hasn't exactly hit the ground running since football came back. 11 games since the return, Lataro has managed just two solitary goals for Inter Milan with the Argentine striker there struggling to pick up exactly where he left off earlier on in the season when he was red hot in front of goal. And I have to say as well, in his last three games in Serie A, no goals at all. He was actually taken off during Inter's draw with Roma. He was on the bench just yesterday against Fiorentina. And recently, it has been a bit of a question about Lotaro. Is he distracted? Is his head here being turned by Barcelona? And Lotaro actually is very much aware of that talk. Before Inter's game yesterday against Fiorentina, Lotaro came out and said on Inter's official club channel, he said, I'm a guy who always fights. He said, for goals, for goals for the team, for the happiness of the fans, I will always try to give 110% for this club for all of the people who love it for the Inter shirt. He said Conte has given me confidence. It's very important. It's fundamental for a player. He said he's worked on every player's mentality at the club. I really appreciate Conte every day. He makes us grow. So Lotaro Martin is there batting away the speculation that he isn't focused on Inter. He still believes that he's very much focused on the task in hand and still fighting for the Inter shirt. But I've got to say, after their draw yesterday against Fiorentina, when Lotaro failed to make an impact coming off the bench and Inter failed to make a breakthrough in the game. I think Conte is getting pretty frustrated. I think looking just beneath the surface here, he does appear to be getting very, very angry with these Barcelona links. When he was asked there about Lotaro and exactly what his situation is, he responded as follows. He said, we're talking about a 22 year old who didn't really play much last season. He's made his mark this term but he still has a long journey ahead of him. It's a growth process that he needs to go through. Lotaro is not the complete pack yet. He said he can alternate positive and negative moments as is natural for someone of his age. But the rumours around him that claim that he's thinking of another club are insulting his intelligence and just trying to stir up trouble. And I think that's interesting there from Conte. He's, of course, a big admirer of Lotaro Martinez. He wants him in his team. But he's outright saying there, look, Lotaro still has some way to go. He's not the end product. He's not the finished product. He still has to improve. And for somebody here who we're talking about over 100 million euros coming in there for a massive fee in the current markets. I think that's interesting. The fact that his own coach is saying, look, he's still got a lot more to do. And that's something Barcelona should be taking note of.
Finally, though, Inter's CEO, Giuseppe Morata, he was also speaking after Inter's draw against Fiorentina last night, and he remains, just as he said before, very, very firm that Lataro Martinez is going to remain at Inter. He said, we're discussing contract renewals with many players right now. He said, above all, the younger ones in particular, who we want to work with for a very long time, and that includes Lataro Martinez. He said, we're doing it calmly, we're not rushing, there is a report of trust here. He said he's happy to wear the shirt, and at the opportune moment, Moments, we will evaluate his future. And that right now is the latest on Lotaro Martinez. He remains focused, he says on Inter. Conte, I think, is getting frustrated, whereas Inter CEO still believes Lotaro will remain at the club. What do you think? And what do you want to happen this summer? So that right there, guys, is exactly where we stand right now with the Barcelona news for the day. But like I say, I really do hope you will join me over on Flick. I think it is a fantastic place where we can all engage together and it can actually complement the channel really, really well. Of course, I've got the videos here. We've got the comments down below. But aside from that too, during games, when things are happening, I really do like to hear your thoughts and get involved in the conversation. So please join me there. I will see you soon, of course, with plenty more videos to come. Let's hope the later tonight. Barcelona B can get the job done in their Segunda B semi-final playoff. I'll see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barça. Oh,